I have play spot e blocks in my classroom, but I didn't bring them home. And if you don't have them, they're really easy to make. I like my kids to see the blocks as much as possible. So I have these in one of my place value units and we make a lot of numbers. So today I'm gonna to be focusing on adding and subtracting 10 and 100 to a three digit number on this periscope. Okay, so let's say I told them we picked a number, okay? So we are doing the number 233. Okay, so here's 233. Now, when I'm first starting out having to teach, or teaching how to add and subtract 10 from 100, I'm going to use these blocks in a huge way because they have to learn that it's all about place value, okay? So first, when we add, add 10, all we're gonna do is add a 10 block. And they can easily see that now it's 243, right? Now we gotta go back to our number 233 and we gotta take one away. So we're just, we're going through this very slowly. So you get the idea, 223. So we would talk about what it looks like to take, uh, place a 10 in and take a 10 out. So I think this is very important for your kids to be manipulating it rather than them trying to count down 10 or add up 10 because it's a place value concept, even though we're adding and subtracting. So we would be working a lot with place value mats, with the uh, place value blocks, or if you don't have blocks, the cards. And then we would transition to doing the kind of activities that I'm showing you, okay? So I'm just gonna show you activities on how to make three digit numbers. Now this is like, if I just always told them the numbers, like if I was always saying, okay, make 199, make 753, that gets really boring, okay? We're gonna be having to do a lot, like expanded form, standard form, a lot of things with these numbers. So let's make numbers fun. Let's not make them so boring, okay? So I have these number bean bags, and I'll put a link to these on my blog. I got them at Mardell, they're educational insight. And they go to 20, which I'm not gonna need all of them. So when we're making a number, why not toss out a number? Why not, why, why don't I toss the bags to someone? They can talk them to each other, and then they can make a, a number. They, I can say, make the largest number possible, and they can make 741. Or I can say, make the smallest number possible. Okay, so just adding those bean bags makes it a lot more fun than me just telling them, all right, your number is 741, let's do these things with it, okay? So these are fun, and my kids really, really love them, and we use them a lot. You can use these for addition, for multiplication, do facts, all kinds of things. So this is something that's really fun. Now, I want them to be held accountable, right? Because we don't just want to be tossing bean bags all over the classroom. So that's where my little freebie on my blog comes in. This is a, it's called a play, place value party. I just gave it a name. So they could write the number 741. They can put it in its hundreds, tens, and ones, even or odd, expanded form, word form. I had made a mistake, but I already fixed it for you guys. And then they can add and subtract 10 and 100. So they're not, we're not just focusing on this skill at the bottom. We're hitting a lot of place value uh, skills in it. Okay, this is on my blog. Now I laminated these so that I can write on them with Expo because I don't want to copy 400 of these because we're going to be using them a lot. So I can copy them and they can use an Expo and that's even a little bit more fun than pencil and paper too, right? Okay, so let me show you. So with this freebie, there's so many things I can do. So I got this little... Um, pencil basket and I did hundreds, tens, and ones. And in each one I have the numbers, I have six with the numbers, zero to nine. So I have those in my hundreds, tens, and my ones. They can pick a stick. So they're just gonna go in there blind. Pick a stick. All right, I have 53, because I don't have, I got a zero. So I have 53. So with this, there we go, 53. I can do all those same things. It's just another fun way to pick a number. And on the back, I did it in word form so that it can help them spell it. So you can see like, seven, and I and even expanded form, I could do really easily because I could have 753 and there's my number. Super simple. If you don't have this cute little caddy, use cups. So easy. And popsicle sticks are really cheap. These cane color, um, but you could, I mean, if you really wanted to paint them, you could. Or you could just use the regular popsicle sticks, okay? So that's a really, that's a fun way to make a number. All right, while we're talking about making numbers, this one is so cheap. I actually learned this one a long time ago. 
These are the cheapest kind of cups that there are, styrofoam cups. And I have three of them here because I'm doing hundreds, tens, and ones, right? So I put the numbers from zero to nine all around the um, edge of the cup. And I did it on three cups. If I was doing thousands, I would use another cup, okay? And then on the one on top, I have one with an arrow. So my kids can spin to make a number. Now this won't be ran as random unless they close their eyes, but it's still fun. Right? So they made the number 594. And um, you could even do color code, like if you want these hundreds to be a color, tens to be a color, ones to be a color, that would also be helpful. I only had black with me today. So they made the number. They can make out the make the number and fill out the little sheet. Easy as pie, right? Okay, so that's another fun one. Alright, now this one is really fun. These are um, little vests that you put on. Okay, so you can use these for so many different things. So you tie them around. Is this, this is the right way. So they would go around your head. You'd have two people in the ball. This um, has Velcro. And they can throw the ball to the person gently, of course. And they can make a number like this. So maybe they land on seven. And then my partner lands on two. And we do another one. We make 725. Another really fun way to make a number. All I did was get the yellow or the white stickers and I put numbers on them and I stuck them onto the vest above each star. I could change these things out with spelling words, with, we could do addition and subtraction facts, so many different things. And I can differentiate with my kids because I can make the numbers high or low based on what they need. So that's really fun too. Once again, I can use this to hold them accountable for their work, right? Okay. Um, so let me get to, I just have a couple more things. Now, I just got done making a unit um, about adding and subtracting 10 and 100. And in, these unit, in the unit, it's not just worksheets. They're fun stations and activities. Anytime I can get, well, first of all, this is how I store all activities like this. I have my recording sheet in there. I have my spinners. I even have my paper clip to spin so that they can get their work all in one place, right? So I have, in this one, I have three different spinners so that I can, and they kind of go by ability, so smaller to larger numbers, um, to where I can differentiate between my kids. Okay, so they would spin a number with a paper clip, easy breezy, and fill out their recording sheet, right? Okay, so that's a really fun one. With dice, look at these cute little um, counters that are these cute little containers that I found at the Dollar Tree. They were 10 for a dollar, which is amazing, right? And I just put my dice in here so that I can put them in my center easily. Roll dice to make a three-digit number. If you get on Amazon, there's a ton of dice on Amazon. You can even find place value dice to make your number, okay? But if you don't, regular dice will work too, okay? So I'm going to roll to make a number. And then I'm going to fill out, they're going to fill out their recording sheet. This can be done independently. Oh, hot. This can be done independently and in partner work and in station. There's so many different ways you can, can do that. Okay. Um, also, oh my goodness, QR codes. My kids love QR codes because they get to use an iPad or an iPhone or a tablet or whatever, you know. So on these, I have it where they scan their first code and that's going to give them the number. And then the next code is going to tell them um, whether they need to add or subtract 10 or 100. So this might be 554 plus 10. And on their recording sheet, oh, that's not the right one, it's this one. On their recording sheet, they're going to do their code one number, their code two, their equation, and then they're going to solve it, okay? And so that's just another fun way. See, we're doing the same thing with all of them. It's a lot of practice that they're getting in, but I'm presenting it in a different way, which makes it a lot more fun for my kids and they're not bored during their math uh, stations or instruction, okay? Um, same thing with this, just making puzzles. Uh, they love manipulating things and putting things together. So these are puzzle pieces that are in that unit as well. So there's just a bunch of different things. Last thing I wanna talk about is combining skills, okay? Because when I'm doing place value, I want to combine a bunch of different skills with it. Why not combine counting coins with place value? Okay, so I've got my little bag of not, my bag of coins here. I just filled it with a bunch of coins. I'm gonna just pinch out 
This is called pinch and solve. So I'm going to pinch out some coins. So my skill here is counting coins, and then I'm going to add and subtract 10 and 100, right? So I'm going to pinch out. I have 60 cents here. Or this is just add and subtract 10. So I have 60 cents. I had to count my coins, and I have to write that down. Then I have to do my um, equation, and then I can uh, add and subtract 10 to that number. So that's just another fun way to do it. Put it in a bag, let them close their eyes and grab it out. That's a lot more fun than me just giving them all the numbers and we're constantly adding and subtracting 10 and 100. These are just a bunch of different ways um, that you can make it fun. And th these are cheap. Like these things are like a dollar for 50 of them. Popsicle sticks, so cheap. You probably have dice playing around your classroom. So I wanted to bring some things to you that you probably already have and know about, um, but you haven't, maybe you haven't thought to put them um, to math in this way. So that's all I have for you. I'm going to come back and turn this off. Do you know how to turn it off? You swipe down.